final ship to pass through these operations was the Mission San Francisco. Flag-draped cranes form an archway for the 93rd and last marine ship vessel, while 5,000 workers and their families join in celebration. A Navy blimp adds its congratulations to marine ship for a job well done. Down the ways for the last time, as clouds of confetti and streamers tell the festive story of pride and joy. Here is the last proud member of a distinguished fleet, built at Marin Ship. Just a few days earlier, Marin Ship's contribution to victory was undeniably proven when the U.S. surrender fleet sailed into Sagami Bay off Tokyo. With that great armada, were eight Marin Ship Navy oilers, half of the ships of that class built at Marin Ship. And leading them was the Tunnel Pius, flagship of the Marin Ship fleet. On the morning of the trial run, dawn breaks cool and clear across San Francisco Bay. Already aboard the ship are members of the trial crew who have raised steam and are now prepared to subject the ship to every peril of the deep. In the wheelhouse, all navigating controls, such as this gyro compass repeater, have been made ready for their test. At every post throughout the ship, the seaman of the trial crew stands ready to do the job which another seaman of the permanent crew will handle when the ship finally sails away. Now the trial captain steps to the ship's phone. Down in the engine room, the trial engineer receives the message, take her out into the channel. He steps to the throttle and presses it forward, watching the gauges as they record the first motion. Smoothly, the tanker glides away from the dock. Now, for the first time, she is a living thing, filled with spirit and ready for the sea. Out in the channel, anchor is dropped as a test. To make certain that the ship meets the high standards of the American merchant marine, a launch comes alongside, bringing the trial board of the Maritime Commission. Now the launch skims away, leaving the tanker alone. Two of the most powerful winches on the ship are used to lift the two six-ton anchors and the 15-ton anchor chain. From the bottom of the bay, the anchor returns to be met by a cleansing stream of water. Now the captain telephones his orders from the bridge. The ship is ready for the first time to use her entire power. The trial engineer pulls the throttle all the way forward, and the strength of 10,000 horses smoothly surges through the ship. Now it's full speed ahead, and as the ship climbs toward 20 knots and more, the trial crew smile at their post. Under the clear blue sky, the pilot takes the wheel on the weather deck as the ship speeds about the bay. Meanwhile, engineers and observers are preparing their reports on the ship's performance. On the yard arm, traditional flags of the sea give a message to passing ships. In the chart room, sea-wise hands plot a course through the Golden Gate onto the wide Pacific. Officers confirm their plan with the aid of a navigating compass. Suddenly, the pilot swings the rudder hard to port. The vessel groans and trembles at the shock. But like a veteran, the ship swings about, leaving proof on the sea of another test well met. Now the pilot suddenly wheels to starboard. The rudder turns, and with it, the ship, tracing a great arc. Thank you. 